was uh, commissioned by my great great grandfather who was a tobacco merchant and who had uh, tobacco uh, plantation plant plantations and uh, cigar factory in uh, Manila in Manila and he had this book made uh, for I suppose educational purposes for his children isn't that wonderful? He, he did that in, in, in every country he came, and he came in quite a lot of countries. So this is one of a set. It's wonderful, really. I mean, it's, it's extraordinary to see how he has preserved this for the generations, that we can all take this trip with him and see his business, uh, especially for his family. And we can go to this bright, rich, beautifully colored country, which, uh, which I mean, in culture. Um, and these beautiful watercolors by this artist, Jose Honorato Vazano, who I haven't heard of. Now, it, it happens that there are uh, certain artists who paint the, the Philippines who are well known. Mm -hmm. um, uh, there are the foreigners who came in, and there are local artists. Mm -hmm. I can only judge by this artist's name that he's a local artist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but a terrific artist. I mean, I love the rhythm of these houses on stilts, and uh, this, is, this is a really marvellous composition. Mm -hmm. It transports us to another world, and... Uh, lost it. Well, I think that, for instance, this extraordinary smart young man of Manila with, of course, a cigar. I mean, what more could you want? Uh, I seem to remember that also, so we have not only the local life, we have these very, very beautiful uh, figurative paintings. And on top of that, local views. I mean, this is rather extraordinary, isn't it? I mean, it didn't, I didn't really think about football. Uh... It had escaped me. I didn't know that uh, there was a drawing of football within the book. Did your, your, your grandfather didn't leave diaries, he just le left these sort of pictorial diaries, didn't he? He wrote a book. Yes. Of which I have a copy. Yeah, yes. But uh, it's yes. not specifically about Manila. No, there's a little bit about Manila. Oh, it's, really? Yes. Right. It's Souvenir de ma vie, mm. and his name was Emil Nysens. It's, it's wonderful. We, can't, we haven't obviously got time to look at the book. But there is another point to this, uh, to this book, that it's very, very topical at this point in time. Mm -hmm. Because where is the great new emerging market? Make 20 or 30,000 pounds a This artist really uh, is not known, as far as I know, probably is known locally, and there is no price record. Mm -hmm. But there are 25 extraordinary watercolors in here. So I have to say that I believe this album could be worth 100,000 pounds, 5 million Belgian francs, or more. I'm flabbergasted. It's quite a lot it's of It's extraordinary. Money. Yeah. It's very extraordinary. I didn't know it, it would be so much. <laughs>